What's up, people? This little project here is giving me fits. You see, I'm in a process of putting all these radios into my service vehicle. I'm sort of consolidating everything, streamlining my whole setup there in the vehicle. This Troy product uh, center console is a bit shorter than the last one that I put in there. Uh, I think I saved like a good four inches, four or five inches of space. And uh, something else I did was uh, I put the power distribution sort of panel on this assembly itself as well, along with adding a AC, DC to AC converter, or inverter rather, so I could have, uh, you know, regular uh, 110 AC voltage to power up stuff. There's other things that I'm doing too to this. Uh, the audio output of all these radios here are being combined and outputted through one speaker, this speaker right here. And this is a Yesu amplified speaker. Uh, amplifies it to 10 watts coming out of this speaker here. And the outputs of these radios here usually goes to an individual speaker but instead I use this device on the uh, internet there I found this on eBay uh, radio design labs and this particular model is the ST MX3 a line level mixer so one of these devices is able to uh, have three inputs and have one single output to put four radios into one speaker I needed to have two of these so two inputs per box and uh, the output actually is going to daisy chain into another one of these so I'll have four radios into one device with uh, I think I have one more spare port to mix into the speaker here it sounds good on paper, but it didn't quite pan out the way I wanted. Uh, when I put, when I slapped all this together, uh, I did it hastily and on the fly. I didn't, you know, engineer it or anything or take careful readings. And and there's there's some trouble. So here I have 12 volts out of this power supply, Astrom RS 12 amp power supply here, and that's feeding this whole tray here and uh, if I turn the power on this is my uh, ignition switch bypass it turns all the radios on this guy here has its own power right there and you can hear the static everything is muted everything is quiet here Yeah, that doesn't sound too good. So not only that, with this inverter here. Yeah, that sounds really good. And then this is being fed by a power supply over there. I actually had this in my vehicle running off the vehicle power. And uh, the engine noise and the whine from the, no from the, en the noise from the engine itself also also added to the uh, noise coming out of the speaker so if I accelerate of course you're gonna hear the vehicle acceleration through the speaker so uh, yeah this is gonna be interesting to see how can I fix this this mixer here is actually for line levels they're in audio actual voice you know frequencies and stuff like that and microphones and PA systems uh, like in stadiums and speaker systems uh, there's like I think there's two or three types of levels as far as how you feed one device to another you have line levels which is a a device output into another device and it's a certain level it's a certain uh, voltage level that you're feeding into that particular device which is called a line level and I don't know the levels per se so I'm not going to mention it look it up but it's way lower level than audio output speaker coming out of these these radios here. 
so understandably I am pumping a bit more crap into this device than what it expects it expects a lower level and if I hook up a microphone to this input here it's even lower than line levels even though you could put a microphone in there it's able to do that so that's part of my problem there is um, overdriving the circuits here with this output out of these radios here as far as you know the amplitude of voltages going in here another thing too is each one of these inputs are uh, isolated electronically isolated they're not passive this is not a passive equipment this is an active equipment so each one of these circuits are completely isolated from each other which I wanted because this radio here this Motorola radio here here is a balanced output whereas this radio here is an imbalanced output to the speaker uh, I don't have time to explain what that is but the bottom line is if I it, the bottom line is if I ground one of the two wires coming out of the speaker here like in a somewhat normal configuration it could blow out the the uh, audio output circuits out of this radio here uh, same with this radio here but this one here has a positive input and a negative ground input where this one here is like a floating ground uh, like I said it's a bit too complicated to explain on this video here so I'm gonna move on but this device here could accept both balanced input and unbalanced inputs so it don't matter it's very adaptable to what you're putting in there so there are my uh, line level mixer so I got two of them like I said I need two of them to accommodate four radios and they're daisy chain daisy chain to each other so what I plan to do is to sever both of these so I'm working off of one mixer here and the line that one just right and then add on equipment afterwards so I'm gonna check the grounding see if that's a problem I'm gonna terminate the input of these uh, terminate the inputs of this mixer with with an 8 ohm resistor so that could possibly alleviate that that noise problem when the radios are hooked up to it and uh, these also have some adjustment pots on the front there too uh, so I'm gonna turn on the inverter here yeah. there it is So that may be a problem there and also I'm gonna see what because this device here takes a 24 volt uh, power supply not a 12 like for vehicles and stuff so I had to buy a DC to DC inverter which is right down here and it's an eBay special or Amazon one of those one of those two but uh, this takes 12 volts from your car battery or power supply and and converts it into 24 volts so that's what's powering up these two amplifiers because that's what the uh, the requirement for those to run uh, are everything else is 12 volts okay so here are the two units here the uh, mixing amplifier here and here you see a supposed to be an 8 ohm resistor but I couldn't find any I'm not going to purchase additional stuff this is all surplus stuff so this is actually 10 ohms 10 ohms speakers out of a radio uh, two-way radio is more than likely usually 8 ohms so I'm not going to fret over 2 ohms but uh, this 8 ohm resistor is going to act like a speaker to the radio itself so it'll have the proper uh, impedance so the level is going to be dumped down a little bit more uh, to to what it was designed for so here is a unbalanced 
input into input number one. Number two is actually being fed by this guy here because they're sort of a uh, piggyback cascade to each other. So here is radio number one, radio number two, unbalanced. This one is balanced, so it doesn't have the jumper to ground. Here's my power supply. Here's my power supply, or th here's the output feeding into the input on number two here. Here's radio number three, which is uh, a unbalanced input. And here's radio number four, which is a balanced input. Again, with the po uh, this is the actual speaker going into my amplified speaker here. And the speaker is actually a unbalanced input. When I had that ground over to the ground on the device, that's where it caused all that havoc that you heard on the speaker when I started this video. So when I put it into a unbalanced configuration here, it went away and it's clean. Right now it's it's on, it's been on. There's some residu residual hissing there. But uh, it's been quiet ever since. And here's your 24 volt input. 24 volt input and they're both sort of uh, parallel together. And like I said, there is the 12 volts to 24 volt uh, DC to DC converter to power those uh, mixer. And here it is. So in the schematic, it's like this. There's some glare there, but so bear with me. Here's a radio input. The black is the 8 ohm resistor as a load, and it's an unbalanced input annotated by this ground on one of the lines there. This one's a balance input. Here's a resistor going into the input there, which is an amplifier, going into the mixer. So here's your three inputs out of one device. This is one device. This guy right here. So the output of that is coming out and feeding into the input of the second device, which is this guy right here. So here's another radio going in there with the unbalanced input. So it's grounded on one side there. And here's uh, a balanced input with the 8 ohm resistor load there to re replicate a speaker. But obviously it's not a speaker. So over here, three inputs, it's mixed together into one, feeding into this three input here, mixing together and being amplified out the speaker right here so that's the basic drawing there here you have 24 volts and the ground but it, it wanted a, a free floating ground instead of a, a reference ground so it's not hooked up to the chassis ground at all that's that was another problem as well so right now this thing is quiet and that's pretty much the gist of it right here as far as schematics and that represents this big old mess here so just to do a quick little check I'm gonna put the main speaker on like a happy medium and I'm gonna go into input number one that's good input number two I'm gonna increase the volume a little bit start again Input number two. Input number three. So all those inputs are going in there and coming out this white line to feed this guy right here. So the feed from this guy here sounds like this. Here's another radio on one of the inputs here. That's pretty loud. And here's another input. And each one of those inputs got an individual adjustment potentiometer here. So you could align uh, the levels coming in there so you can make it all equal. So what about the uh, inverter causing all sorts of trouble? So let's turn her on. You heard a little bit of a squeal there, but not the little you know 
heavy metal sound coming out of it like it was before. And here I got it on full blast. And this guy's not phasing it. So I'm going to turn it off. Nothing. And it's pretty quiet. You're always going to hear that residual hissing there. Wait a minute, I'm wearing the microphone. 